What's up, happy people? And how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a blessed day. Because today is Saturday and it's tasty Saturday. It's a beautiful sunny day down in Georgetown, Guyana. What more can you ask for? It's an amazing day. The weather is fine. This is how we do it, y'all. We eat fresh. We go down to the market, grab what we want to cook on a daily basis, and we cook. Enjoy those moments. Live those happy moments. The food tastes better, more tastier, when you use fresh ingredients, when you use fresh meat or fresh fish. It all tastes better. And most importantly, you need to remember, if you don't add love to your cooking, your food is not gonna taste great. That's important. It, you gotta, you gotta want to cook. You gotta have to have a passion for cooking. You have to add a little bit of love, a love portion into your food to get that greatness. It doesn't make sense to do something you don't like to do. It will never be done correctly. So join me, guys. Let's go down to the market and let's go grab our fresh seasoning and meat and fish all right guys i need to share an important message with you all especially the men the male the fathers the husbands brothers it's weekend it's saturday it's sunday i know many men can't wait for the weekend to go and I'm talking about the guys who are married who have family who have children you can't wait for the weekends to catch up with your buddies to have a few beers to go on the beach and do something fun go up to the creek go somewhere go you know go do stuff with your boys like boys stuff but fathers, husbands, you ought to understand and, and, and know that you have a family home, you have a wife home. You need to include them in your activities, in your weekend activities. Be part of their life and let them be part of your life. Don't just leave them away because your kids are growing up. When your kids become teenagers, you're going to start missing them because they're going to move on to college they're gonna get married have families of their own and then you're gonna start missing them when you get older so for now you need to enjoy your family have a close relation with your family have a close bond the only thing that matters in life is relationships family your friends are gonna always be there when your kids are all married and all gone to college and, and you're all alone with your wife, you're gonna have all your drink buddies to hang out with. But for now, spend quality time. Find things to do with them. Include them in your life, as I am doing. I'm not saying you must not have a few beers with your friends, with your buddies. You can, but don't spend the entire day doing that. And for the women, it's likewise. Don't leave the father's home babysitting while you go out with the girls shopping or go out with the, with the girls partying and bar hopping. Because there are some ladies who, who hang out too. Or you're gone by your relative. Sometimes you're gone by your mother for the day, leaving the man home alone or, or something. You know, try to include your husband in what you do. We don't have to include each other in everything we do, but at least include one another in most of the things because that is what a family is all about. Being together, do things together, having fun together, living life together, enjoying the moments together. So, I hope you can adjust and make some changes in your life. And I hope this message 
can create some impact in your life. A little tip for you guys who are married with children or with even one child. Today is Saturday. After you finish all your work, finish your cooking. And yes, I hope you are helping your wife in the kitchen today. For those of you who are not working. And take your, your children, take your child and your, your family down to the movie town theater and mall or the Giflan Mall. You can even go to the Princess Hotel. There's a fun city there where you have a lot of games for the kids. You can even go onto the beach on the Kitty Sea Wall. Have a barbecue. You know, sit with your family. Look at the Atlantic. Enjoy the moments. Spend quality time together. You don't have to go to a fancy restaurant to dine. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have great moments. Sitting on the beach with your family is indeed a great moment. Those are moments you're going to remember. You're going to rec recap. You need to create moments to remember. Create moments with your children. So when you are gone, your children can remember. My dad and I, my mom and I used to go sit on the seawall. And they can tell these stories to their children. You know, I remember my father used to take me on the seawall. He used to put me on his shoulder and walk me on the seawall. I remember that. I did the same thing for my son. And I do the same for my children. I take them on the seawall. So, there are a lot of ways you can, can bond with your family. But you need to start now. Start today, okay? I've decided today I'm making a curry. So, I'm here by Mr. Ganesh and Mother Bose. Picking up my live poultry. This is from the farm onto these stands. Right. So you couldn't get fresher than these. Alright. We have some melon, we have uh, papa, we have banana. But that's why we have some vegetables. And of course we got pineapple there and oranges. Yes. So life couldn't get better than this. This is right out of the farm, right off the tree to this vendor here in Monrepose. So I'm having a fresh coconut this morning. You got extra? Yes. Or no, no. Let's do it the, the right way. This is the country style. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is the man here. Check him out, Monrepos and Agriculture Road at the junction. Fresh coconut. Couldn't get better than this. Good price. How much one coconut? One forty. One forty in Georgia is two hundred dollars. One forty for a coconut. So you have good price, you have quality for your money, value for your money. This takes a lot of skill what this man is doing here right now. Okay. So this, this is what the jelly, this is perfect. This here is power. So this couldn't get better this is freshly squeezed cane juice that was done this morning so fresh tastes great 100% cane juice no sugar no water no ice added just pure cane juice as the vendor said the best in the country couldn't get better than this fresher right by agriculture road in Monrepos opposite Republic Bank. So y'all, 
what else can I ask for? What, can, what else can you ask for in life? I've just got all my seasoning, fresh seasoning, my, my fruits right out of the farm. And I've gotten my meat. So I'm heading back to the kitchen to start cooking. See you back in the kitchen. What's up, y'all? So you saw me down at the market a moment ago. Now I'm back. So I went to the poultry stand. I got me a chicken, which I'm gonna put in the crock pot and I'm gonna slow cook. And here, I got me a duck. So I'll be making duck curry today with rice and of course my chicken. So this is the process where I'm cleaning it. This is the hardest part of it. This is what my duck looks like after I finish cleaning it. I took off the skin because you know ducks tend to have little feathers on the skin, so it's really time consuming to clean them. So I just decide to just take the skin off. So this is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna cut this into pieces and I'm gonna start cooking. So in here I have, I have my masala, my duck masala, my jeera, my turmeric, my curry powder, and of course my fresh garden seasoning, celery, shallot, onion, garlic, parsley, chilies, and the basil, which we call marmar. So they're all in here, fall in love, integrating with each other, falling in love, and of course, you have to add love into your cooking. Or your food would not taste great. So after about five minutes of cooking this, all these spices together, you may want to add your meat to marinate inside. You're gonna to want to turn this up so the seasoning can get to every part of the meat. So now you're going to want to leave this to sit for about 5 to 10 minutes, cover it, and then I'm going to come back to this. I did not add water as yet. We're allowing the meat to, at local dialect, bonjal, or like cook a little. So that's what's happening here right now, it's simmering down. After 10 minutes, I'm going to open this, show y'all what's going on in there. So see what I told you guys? I didn't add no water, so I'm going to turn this up a little, let it keep cooking, maybe for another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to add some water. Now, 20 minutes after my duck is cooking, 
So you want to go in there. You see that? So it's kind of getting a little bit dry now. This is where you add your water. But remember, you don't want to slow down the process of cooking. So if you have available warm water, which I just got out of my coffee maker, a cup of warm water, a pint of warm water, you may want to add that. So, this is my second cup of water, warm water. You want to make sure all the meat is covered and you let it sit and cook. So two cups of water, everything is good here. So you're gonna let this sit now maybe for another 30 minutes to boil the meat, to get it tender. And that should be ready to go on the dining table. Look how my chicken is coming to life. Of course, it's in a slow cooker, so it's gonna take about three hours to cook. So we're gonna be having that later on this evening. Over here, I'm gonna show you what our duck curry looking like. It's all coming to life, it's boiling. All right. Has about 15 to 20 minutes more, and it's ready to eat, y'all. So, let me see. Wow. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. So, this is done. This is a boiling with flavor, with bursting with flavor here right now. You can smell the greatness. And I always Add some scallions and some celery at the end of my curry. It really adds flavor. So all right y'all, here I am. My duck curry has come to life. I got up this morning, I headed out to the market. When I got to the market, I decided, I saw the ducks, I said, you know what, I'm gonna cook duck today, duck curry. So here it is. I use all those fresh herbs, everything fresh, my meat, my, my, my meat board was live this morning. This is how we do it. We cook fresh. You know, I live in a country where I can go to the market and pick up fresh, seasoning fresh meat on a daily basis. So that's what I do. When you cook fresh, it tastes better. So here I am, I'm gonna taste my duck curry today, but before, I, I must give uh, thanks. God, I thank you for providing this meal for me and my family today. I pray that it nourishes our body as we eat it. I thank you for this day, it's a beautiful day. I thank you for life itself. God, and I pray that you provide a meal for every single human being on the face of this earth. I thank you. So, here I'm gonna dig in on my lunch. This food smells great. So, so awesome. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a chunk of this meat with some gravy. Very tasty. You can taste the, the freshness of the meat, the freshness of the, the herbs. Man, you can taste that chili in here. This is awesome. And I'm getting better at cooking. I'm getting better at what I love. And remember, if you don't love cooking, your food is not gonna taste great. You have to have a passion for what you do. And that is what I do. I have a passion for cooking. I love cooking. So. This is all for now. Thank you for watching this video. And we are gone.